Hi everyone, welcome to Low Carb Revelation. I am Paula and today I'm going to show you how I make my version of Korean flanked short ribs. The way I get a lot of my recipes is I find recipes online and in cookbooks and other places and I take the ingredients that are not keto friendly and I swap them out with keto friendly ingredient. That is something that anyone could do with a lot of recipes. Just take a look at the ingredients list and see what you can swap out for keto friendly ingredients. And a lot of times you can come up with a very good dupe recipe that is very, very similar to the original recipe. So I found this recipe online. It was for Korean flank and short ribs. This is the first time I made flank and short ribs, which is the thin short ribs that look almost like bacon, but they're a little bit thicker. I have made the beef short ribs before, the big thick ones with the bone sticking out. I have made those a lot of times in my Instant Pot and in my slow cooker. And so I found some at Sam's Club last week and I thought that I would look up a recipe and make them in my air fryer. So I found a recipe that had a Korean style marinade. And let me tell you, the marinade came out awesome. I actually made the ribs yesterday and I videoed making the marinade and making the ribs, but I was painting yesterday and I didn't feel like being in a video. So today I'm making the intro and then the ending of the video. These ribs came out very tasty. And I'm gonna show you now how I made the marinade and how I made them in the air fryer. But let's go do that right now. So I have just over two and a half pounds of flank short ribs. And I'm gonna put all of these into this gallon Ziploc bag. And so I'm gonna start with a quarter cup of tamari. You can use soy sauce if you don't have tamari. One quarter cup. And I have one tablespoon of garlic powder. The original recipe calls for brown sugar, so I have some brown sugar here from Truvia, which is stevia sweetened. And so I'm gonna be putting two tablespoons into a bowl here. Then I have some sesame oil here. I'm gonna be putting in one tablespoon of sesame oil, one teaspoon of onion powder, and one teaspoon of paprika. And then I have a half a teaspoon of ground ginger. And that is it for the marinade. So I'm gonna mix this up and then I'm gonna pour it into the bag over the ribs and I'm gonna seal it and I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator and let it marinate and give it a little shake. So that all of the ribs are covered with the marinade. When we're done marinating, I'm going to make them in the air fryer and I will show you how that happens when the time comes. See you and soon. And when you put this in the refrigerator, putting it in a bowl or on a plate in case the bag leaks, it's just a good tip. I've had it leak in my refrigerator before and it's not fun. I preheated my air fryer to 400 degrees for about five minutes and I put the ribs onto three racks. The top two racks are screen racks. They have holes in them and then the bottom rack is a solid rack. So I'm hoping the juices are going to drip down and make them nice and moist. So I'm going to go ahead and close this up and I'm going to set it on 400 for 20 minutes and then I'm going to check them and I'm going to see how they're doing after 20 minutes to see if they need more time. So I took the top rack out first because they were closest to the heat. They got done first. I sampled them while these finished cooking and they came out amazing. I'm gonna pull these out and show you, look at that. These came out so good. There's over two and a half pounds of ribs in the package that I made. And I thought that I would be able to put a couple aside for lunch the next day. We ended up eating them, all of them for dinner yesterday. They were so delicious. The keto friendly brown sugar that I used gave the outside a texture that was sort of caramelized. And then there was salt from the tamari in there. It is just a delicious marinade and it's very easy to make. 
And I was thinking that you could even use that on some skirt steak or some blank steak to marinate it. It would be so good. So that is my video for today. Make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on my future videos. And thanks for watching. God bless.